this video I would like to introduce you Good afternoon everyone. In this video I would like to introduce you degree requirements progress platform. So in order to enter this website you need to go to aodegreeprogress.kz. Okay, so the whole purpose of Degree Requirement Progress Platform is uh, for you to track and manage your progress towards your degree completion and so that you can open your major, for example, and check what courses you have completed and how many remaining courses, uh, for example, you have towards your graduation. Okay, but one note is um, this is not a degree audit. Uh, this is not an official degree audit, so this means that Mm, it's only for practice, for your practice, and in case of any questions, concerns regarding the any requirements, you can ask your department of your major. Okay, so how this major work? Uh, I mean, how this platform works? So as you can see here, there are twenty one majors. Okay, so in the undergraduate level. So um, if you are an anthropology major, so you click in the major and then here you fill out the student ID, your year of study, and for example, your name and your um, last name. So here how the sections work is uh, we indicated all the courses as in your undergraduate academic handbook. So basically you start from elementary courses and what course you have completed you just indicated here. OK, but for others it's again it's same as your uh, undergraduate handbook and it ends with your general elective courses. So for those courses that you have already completed, you just choose the course level, the course code, and then you can put the name of the course, and then you choose the number of credits that this course have and the grade, right? So you all know that major related, um, uh, major require, required grade is C minus, so you put C minus, it's indicated as a pass, right? So if you put like D, for example, it the system automatically shows that you haven't passed the course for your major, right? So it's important that you indicate the correct uh, grade. So as you also see here, it was before indicated as 18, but because you have already completed one course and you have indicated it here, the system already sh like shows 12 credits, right? You have remaining credits in this section. The same logic applies to other courses. If you have completed any like, I don't know, randomly writing um, six, and then also you got like B, and then it shows pass, and then here, it's already 18 credits left, right? So at the end of the uh, page, you can see that the total credits earned is 12 credits. It's those two courses that we have already indicated in the system as a pass. Okay, so the, the logic is pretty simple. If you go to other like sets majors, for example, mm, the indication here is a bit different. It's again like your handbook. It goes by year. So year one indicates all the courses that you have to complete according to your schedule. The year two, year three and year four. Okay, all the electives mm, are also in, indicated within year. So again, mass calculus one, and then you choose it as eighth grade is grade passing grade is C, so it shows pass, and then again, credits number already decreased to 60. Okay, so one more rhetorical composition, for example, it's six, the passing grade is C minus, where you got C plus, it says pass, and already it became 54. Okay, and the total number of credits already counting as within credits. So almost the same logic uh, for the SMG majors by year. So you can see here, um, so you fill in uh, the courses, the credits, the passing rates, and again, it shows the remaining number of credits that you have to complete, for example, in year three. Um, for medical science, you can also check. So by year, uh, it shows all the courses with labs, um, Kazakh courses. You have to indicate the court, uh, course code so that the system will show what's the passing grade. Okay, year two, year three, and the year for total credits. And one note for all the majors. So, for example, if you completed all the requirements and then even like some of them, right, by your second year, let's say, and you want to save it, you can 
press on the save button and then the PDF file will appear as the same design um, as this page. OK, so if you want to take it, I mean, for yourself as a safe file or you want to bring to your advisor or to your school so you can use that file as a reference. OK, but again, it's the system whole system is for practice so that you know that how the degree audit itself works. Uh, so, yes, hopefully this system will make your degree progress um, tracking easier. So in case of any questions, concerns, or if you notice any kind of mistakes, technical nuances, please let us know. We'll be mm, happy to improve it.